What's up humans, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on animated SVG logos. So this is an SVG logo and there's some SVG text. So we're gonna be animating both of them with a similar, um, with well, with the same style. And this is what you're gonna see here. So we're gonna animate in using the line, the stroke, and then we're gonna fill it in. And then it's gonna like, the stroke's gonna fade away at the same time to give that sort of like, it like shrinks into place sort of thing. So let's play that again, just so you can see it once again. As you can see, all the lines draw in, and then it, and then that's how it happens. So I've done this on CodePen, which we're going to actually be using today. So if you want to follow along, you can. You can just head over to CodePen.io, set up your own account, and then create a new pen. So let's do that. So over here, I'm going to create a new pen. At the top here, I'm just going to click in. I'm going to call it Animated, uh, Animated, SVG, Text and Logo YouTube. There we go. Just so if you got, so just so I can share the code with you after as well. Um, so without further ado, let's get. Um, so the first thing we do, I'm going to create a class called Logo. Um, as you can see, for it, let's make this really wide so we can actually see what's going on. And we're going to focus on the HTML. So I'm going to create a logo, and what we need to actually get from this is an SVG icon. Now I actually have some SVG code. Um, laying around which is actually my logo SVG so I'm going to copy that and paste that in here so this is kind of what we need we need to add a class of icon to this SVG as you can see it's sitting over here and then on the path so the path is what we're actually animating we need to add a class of is active now this is active um, is what we're using to toggle to animation and then the icon is what we're using to get this SVG. So that is the logo SVG. We now need some text SVG. I do have some text SVG available, but I'm gonna show you how you can get this if you haven't already. So here is some text inside of Adobe XD. XD is free for anybody who wants to get it. So you can go get it and you can create some text. So if we create a new box or a new, um, actually we'll create a new artboard. So I'm gonna click here and I'm just gonna draw an artboard. That is fine. In here, we're going to uh, change the background color. So for it, a fill, we're going to add. We're going to make this like, let's say, uh, what about a like a nice darky minty green? I kind of like minty green. That that's kind of. I like that. So now let's get the text tool and let's type in here. So what we're going to type in here is that doing Tyler Potts. I'm going to do something else, such as um, what else can we do? Um, the Hello World. It's kind of boring, isn't it? I'm going to do uh, who is an amazing person? Uh, Son Goku, because you know I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Okay, so that's automatically added some styles to this, which is fine. But if you go over here, normally your um, your text would look like this. What I've done is you see there's a font I've added. I've set the font the um, size to be quite big. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I've made it black. You, you don't have to do this, you can do it with any sort of text you want. I've then, instead of using a fill, I've turned off the fill and added a border with about three pixels. I'm actually gonna put that to five. Five pixels and that's about it. Now, how to get the SVG code? All you need to do is right click, copy, and that's it. So now if you head over in here and you hit paste, you'll see you get this SVG. Now, we don't actually need all this. We can remove the ID, the data name. I'm gonna put this fill onto, fill onto a new line. Oh God, I keep doing too many lines. I'm gonna put all this stuff onto new lines, basically. Uh, bam, 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 bam. And that, that'll do. So that is what this is. We also, we can keep this. We're actually gonna add it to this one up here for no reason, it just, you know. And we're gonna keep the width and the height the same. Actually, we're gonna remove the width and the height, but we're gonna keep the view box there. But we're gonna add a class on this equal to text, because this is gonna be the text part of our logo. Um, now, I think the rest of that is all right. We actually need to add the class, uh, oh, actually saying that, let's break that down and say class equal to is active, because we want this to animate straight away. Now, I'm gonna, this is, this is all we need. This is the only piece of, um, that needs to come up one. I'm sorry. This is the only bit of code we need to do the animations. Obviously, you can add more or less or whatever you think you need to do your animations. Um, so 
I don't know if we can see the text. There you go, Son Goku, right there. And then obviously the logo is right there. It's a bit big and we need to do some styling. So let's go into the CSS here. It's pre-processed with SAS, which you can go in here and choose your pre-processor. -pro CodePen is an amazing tool if you haven't used it before. Um, did that just refresh? Okay, it saved it, good. I didn't save it myself. Um, so in here, we're gonna set up some variables. I'm gonna call this one the color, which I'm just gonna to set to F3, F3, F3. I'm gonna set the stroke width, which I'm gonna to set to five pixels. And I'm gonna set the font size, which is actually gonna be 136 pixels, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if we'll need that last one, but we'll keep it there. I'm then gonna do some reset. So I'm gonna remove any margin, any padding, and also set a box shadow, no sizing of border box. So this is just gonna make it a little easier. Now the body, we're gonna give that mint color we use over here. So let's get that color, cause I like that color. Over here, let's say background color. Oh God, I pasted it twice. Um, also gonna set the width to be 100 VW, the height to be 100 vertical height. Hit save, and there we go. So that's looking pretty good. Obviously the logo will need to be a bit different with the stroke. The Sun Goku works because it's like scaled up. Um, we're then gonna uh, style the actual logo. So in our HTML, we've got that logo um, class, which is wrapping our whole thing. And we're just gonna make this a little flex box. So we're gonna say in here, we'll say width needs to be 100%, height or to, well, we don't need a height. Um, and then we're gonna display flex. We're gonna say flex direction column because we want it to be sat underneath Kachafa. But then we wanna justify content center and align items center. We're only gonna add some padding of 25 pixels just to bring the whole thing in a little. There we go. So it's starting to come together, kind of. And in this logo, we then wanna target the icon which we're gonna give a width of 50% of the container and a max width of 300 pixels. There you go. But we also feel that stroke isn't good enough. So let's go up here and where we've got our path. Nope, sorry, that stroke is, we actually haven't got a stroke width on there. Um, so we can just copy the one from here, stroke width of five. So let's see how that looks on here. There you go, that's perfect. That's a lot better than it was. Um, so icon, we actually then want to get the path. So in our HTML, we have a path inside our icon. And this is actually the shape of my um, PTP here, my logo. Um, and what we want to do is, if we can open up the CSS, um, we want to set a, well, we want to set the color or the fill, sorry. Color means nothing to this. We want to set the fill to be equal to the color Obviously, that's gonna fill it in. Currently, we want it to be equal to none or transparent. Because we want something to be there so we can trans work. So when we do the animation, it'll fade into it instead of it just snapping to it. We don't want to say stroke width equal to stroke width. I know we've set this in the, um, we've set this on the actual uh, SVG, but we can also set it here. So there's two elements that allow you to animate the um, the SVG, uh, like how I have in the uh, thing you sort of thing. And that is called stroke dash array. And what we're gonna do here is set this to let's say 10 pixels or just 10. As you can see, it adds this sort of 10 pixel gap between, or 10 pixels for each one of these gap between each one. If we set this to 300, you'll see now they're all 300 and they've got a gap, which is kind of cool. So you can see what we can do here. So if you was to think about this animating, it's gonna keep changing. But if we say if we say a thousand, you're gonna see it starts looking a bit different. Um, the other thing we need is the stroke dash offset. And this is how much the thing offsets. So we offset by 10. I don't know if you noticed that actually, let's say a hundred you can see the lines move slightly. So what this does is moves the line slightly per um, the offset. Now we wanna set this equal to 
and so do dash. Offset needs to be negative whatever the dash array is. And obviously that will make it invisible, but right now you'll see it's not. And that's because we need to make sure it's large enough. And for the logo, I found a 3000 by 3000, I know it's huge. Um, it's what actually gets us that invisible effect. And now if we started moving this dash off array, if we set it to let's say 2000 and hit save, you'll see some lines start animating in. If we go all the way down to 1,000, some more lines coming in. So how we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna get this all the way equal to zero, which is gonna fill out the whole dash offset. Now, it might be a little bit confusing at first, but basically, this because this number is bigger than the actual size of the logo, it's basically saying the whole line is worth the whole of it. And because we're offsetting it by the same amount, it's actually making it invisible. And that's how we're going to animate it in because it's going to be pushed out somewhere. So there are the only two things we need there. We now need and dot is active, which is going to be the trigger for our animation. So we're going to say animation name and we're going to set this equal to icon. We're then going to say animation duration and we'll say four seconds we can actually do this in one we can do this in the animation so animation will be equal to icon for four seconds once and forwards actually don't think we need a once i think it'll play once itself so let's add a key frames called icon and we're just going to say at 50%, so we're going to start straight from 50%, we want to set the stroke dash offset equal to zero, because you want to get straight there. We also want the, we also want to go to 75% uh, and set the fill equal to transparent, because we want it to be transparent up to this point. So as you can see, it's already drawing in, and then it's going. Why is it going? I'm not 100% sure. It should stay because we've got this forward. So let's add one in here because I think the one may, may matter. And then it draws out again. Weird. Ah, is it because it's only gone 75%? If we go here and we say stroke dash offset equal to zero, this it's because... There we go, but it stayed this time. My bad, it's because I because I didn't set it at 100% to be zero, it's then gone back to being 3,000, which is cool, so that's something you could do. You can get it to come in, pause, and then go back out again. Mistake made by me, but you know. Um, and then in here, we're gonna set the fill, which we're gonna set to color. So as you can see, it's gonna fill in. Once it's filled in, it's then gonna add in the color. And then after it's added in the color, we're gonna say, uh, where are we? We're then going to say stroke width, and we're going to set it equal to zero pixels. So we're going to remove the um, stroke width. But at 75%, we're also going to say, because as you can see, it's like faded out before it's even come in. We set it to equal to five, or sorry, we've set a variable up called stroke width. Now let's hit save. Now you'll see it comes in. The lines will start fading out as the fill starts filling it in. So it looks like it's a transition. And that is the animation we're going to do pretty much the same for our text. So with our text, we're gonna say at key frames, text, we're gonna say 50%. This time in 50%, we're just gonna set the transparent value. Um, we're then gonna to go to 75, actually, we don't even need to set 50%. So it's, we're gonna say fill transparent, because we want it to still be transparent once we get here. We're gonna say stroke, dash offset equal to zero because we want it to start off doing the animation and we're going to say stroke width equal to stroke width and then a hundred percent we're going to say stroke dash offset equal to zero still we're going to set the fill equal to color because we want it to start coloring in and we're going to say stroke width equal to zero pixels or just zero i don't think it needs to be pixels there we go, let's now see what happens. Oh, we're not gonna see it because we haven't added the styling. So underneath icon, we're gonna say text. Um, and where we've got text, we're then gonna, oh, that's not the text. We're then gonna say the width of this one, I want it to be 100% of its container, but its max width 
equal to be 900 pixels because as it starts looking weird if it goes any bigger. Uh, we're then going to set the text attribute, um, which is the inside the HTML. You'll see it's actually, this is actually a text attribute right here, and that's what we're going to be animating. So once again, we're going to say text, and we're going to say the color this time is equal to color because we want the color to be that color. We set the width equal to be, actually, I still don't think we need a color. Um, we just need a fill. So we're going to say stroke width equal to stroke width. We're then going to say stroke dash array equal to, this time we're only going to need 800, I believe. We may need a bit more once I'm done with it. Uh, stroke, oh, so this should be dash offset equal to minus 800. So that should now be invisible. Yes, it's now invisible, um, which is good. That's what we wanted. We don't want to say is active and we want to say animation text for four seconds once and then forwards. Oh, not footnotes, forwards. So it's save, let it load, and now, oh, I've missed the and. See where it's activist? I need an and there. My bad. So that's good draw in. Son Goku will then draw in and they will both fill in. And that is the animation. Um, we need to center this so we can actually just say display flex align items center. That should center it. There you go. And there's the animation. So this was a super quick tutorial on how to animate your logo or SVG icons. So just think you could do this with an icon for, um, so you know when you have like icons saying you've got achievements in saying on your portfolio website, you can animate those icons. So as you scroll them into view, they then animate in, which is really cool. I've seen this happen on many cool sites and I think it's something someone should explore and send me a video off because uh, I'm pretty intrigued or a link, even better, a whole link to a website portfolio you've built. But without further ado, everyone, that is all we've got time for today. It's been a quick video and they're going to be quick up until we finish the 100 days of code. And then we're going to start on some big projects like an e-commerce Node.js um, platform and a full on your first full on mobile app from start to finish um, with design. We're going to design it first. We're then going to build it and then we're going to deploy it. So that is the plan. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be the first person on the scene, hit that notification bell so you know as soon as I upload a video. Now, lastly, make sure you check out the Patrons I post at the end of this video. They're amazing people and they've all um, helped out a lot. Um, and that's it, everybody. So I hope you have a good, good day, good evening, good morning, good night. Otherwise, peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, fly with no